wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's that? Is that who I think it is? <laughs> oh, yes. How are you, Ramon? Hey, I'm doing so much better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, if you would have been on two weeks ago, I probably would have recovered from COVID a lot faster. What, you had COVID? I, I, I needed a doctor. Where were you? He had the bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to Good Vibes Television, season two, episode I don't know because I haven't been here for two shows. Uh, I am your boy, RL, and uh, of course, to the right of me is Mr. DJ PRS1. Directly underneath me is the lovely Savvy E. And once again, hailing from the great, great, Florida area where COVID is running rapid and they're not wearing masks. We have Dr. Alicia Gayadin. How y'all good folks doing? Okay. Yeah, we've been good. We've been good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back. Uh, uh, thanks to all the prayers, uh, the acknowledgments and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to come on last week um, I wasn't sick last week, but I, I talked to Savvy. Um, I just wasn't in a real good place mentally, emotionally to come on the show. Um, I jumped on real quick with two weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> you know, just, just, to, I guess, you know, I heard y'all and having fun wanting to be a part of it. The thing about, um, having COVID and, uh, they, they don't, people don't speak about it is, the uh, uh, emotional toll it takes on you and your family and the household. Um, it's six of us in here. It's uh, me, my wife, and four kids, 16, 15, 9, and 7. And uh, I had to quarantine to my room. So um, I was home. Grounded. But I, can't nobody see. Can't nobody touch you. You can't touch anybody. This is nothing like the flu. They, I don't know why they would even compare it to the flu. When you sick, you got a cold or the flu, people come in, they could touch your face, check your temperature, kiss your forehead, all that stuff. Man, can't, no, no one can come near you. Uh, you know, they're placing the tray at the door so you can get it, and everybody has a mask on. <clears throat> Everybody's concerned for you. You're concerned for them. I have a nine-year-old who would speak to her mom, my wife, about me. And it would make her upset because, you know, hey, you don't hear anything good about COVID on the news. If you get it, you hear about the 300,000 people that died from it. Right. And here it is. Their father's in the house with COVID. Right. Like five and feet away. Like, yeah, like it, upstairs in the bedroom. And then my, my 16 and 15 year old, they came down with it. Um, but them being young, they kicked it in 24 hours. Mm. You know, whereas... You know, I needed the whole 10 days. Yeah, they probably um, got the Trump strain. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, I wanted to come on last week. I thought I was going to be able to come on last week. Like I told Savvy, I just wasn't, I didn't feel social. I wasn't in uh, the right head space. Emotionally, I was still working through, because my wife and I, we spoke about it. And my wife, you know, you when it's over, you can look back at it and the, the emotional toll that it took on her, you know. Uh, she probably was wondering, did I make my last uh, life insurance payment? You know, <laughs> was I caught up? Uh, you know, uh, how much money I have in the bank for real? You know, because I mean, it, I mean, just you, you think about everything, you know. Uh, I honestly thought I was, I, I thought I was done. That's how much pain I was in. And then you never know with COVID, it's like the next day you could be getting better. And then all of a sudden you have pneumonia. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I was fortunate. Um, I had it bad, but I didn't have as bad as, as others. I was fortunate, you know. I guess you I'm a COVID survivor. We need our own fucking ribbon. You hear what I'm saying? I, I hear you. You know, right. Uh, but it sucks. It sucks. So I'm glad to be back. Um, I feel good. I'm happy. I'm smiling again. I wasn't smiling last week. Um, because I was still like I said, I'm still dealing with the reality of um uh 
I, I could have died. You know, because there's no medicine. There's no medicine. There's no treatment. You have to do it yourself. Home remedies. And uh, you have to go hard at CVS and find the stuff that do work. Like I had medicine that I was taking. That you normally when you get sick, you don't go get, usually go get NyQuil and all that stuff. I had all that stuff in here. So, oh my God, police car in the background. What the hell? I, I hear that. It's not, they're not coming for me. I'm not passing out. I'm doing good. So, um, but again, I, I, I'm appreciative to everybody who um, uh, prayed for me, uh, you know, reached out to me, text. You guys were awesome. I enjoyed the shows. You know, I, I wish I could have been a part of them. But like I said, I just, it's just one of the things people don't, people need to speak out on their experience with COVID instead of just, you see the numbers, you hear about the numbers and you, you, you see the ventilators, you see people sick, you see people leaving the hospital. People need to speak out on it so people understand exactly what it is and what it do to you during the time that you're ill with it and afterwards, you right. know, um, it, it's, it's a horrible, horrible, um, sickness. And, uh, hopefully we can get control of it starting tomorrow, you know, uh, 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 PRS one and savvy. We're actually, um, starting to give people the vaccine tomorrow Ooh. here in uh, Baltimore at Johns Hopkins. So hopefully it's the start of, you know, being able to get out in front of it and get some kind of control on it. Now, what you guys think about the vaccine, like by getting the vaccine, first of all? You know, I'm not getting it in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, I guess, I'm, I mean, I'll put it out. If my, my thing is, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to get it, but I just, it's, I need to see more research. It is too soon. It's just too soon to jump right into it. I'm hearing so much negative things from all over the world, the world news about um, and, and, and my thing is this: you 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 set it. You set a deadline on it. You give, give these researchers just you have until this date to, to come up with something. They just whip up, you know, a couple of sodas and, and some uh, a cup of soup in, in, in a thing. And we'll call this shit a vaccine fun, until mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and it's one of those things where, come on, man, I need to see a little more proof. Hey, so does it make you immune to COVID? Well, we're not sure. Um, da, 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 da. Well, and, you know, you ask the other question. So do I still have to wear a mask and, you know, wash hands? And well, we're not sure. So for now, we have to wear mask. Come on, man. Give me a good answer. At least. Give me some kind of motivational answer. That I was like, oh, OK, great. I'll take this shot. You know, but it's one of those where, like, I'm not getting good things to this. They got so much stuff on the media now. That I, and I built, personally, I think it, it, it's probably BS. But I saw a whole bunch of stuff just last night about people getting deformities in their face after getting the shot. And I'm like, what? This, I don't know if that's real. It, it no, it's like not. Bullshit. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Personally, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I just think, but there's so much crazy stuff. And then, um, But what I do know that was real is like Australia, they stopped uh, giving out their version of the vaccine because it was giving a false positive. I want to make sure I put it out there. It was a false positive of the HIV. So oh, if what? You went, yeah, of HIV. So if you went and got yourself tested for HIV, it would said that you had HIV, even though you may not have it. Oh. And so they had to stop it because they have to fix that part of it. And according to Australia, according to the news thing clip that I looked at, um, it was going to take a couple of years for them to figure out how to get rid of this uh, po false positive. It wasn't mm -hmm. giving it. You know, the new, a lot of people are saying, well, it was giving you HIV. It wasn't. What it was doing was giving you a false positive on the test. So, which is, thank God you're not getting the, virus, the, virus, the HIV <laughs> on top of the COVID. But hey, um, that, it's one that, of those things where I just think they need to research all. more, you know. <laughs> you I, got I, HIV. I, right. <laughs> That's fucking off. Uh, right. I'm, 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 a, you know, I'm, I won't have COVID, but I'm ahead of this HIV walking around with my like dick it. like luggage, but okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Now, crazy. if you're getting tested for HIV, that's a that's a whole different issue too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I mean, that in itself. But with regards to like the COVID vaccine, I I do feel yes, more research could be done. However, I feel as if there was quite a bit of research already conducted since this pandemic started. And what needs to happen is that it needs to some form of a, a vaccine and some form of anti-COVID needs to start getting out there so that we can 
as start, start a the healing process form, protect ourselves because right. we're having you know i mean people are dying every single minute every single day and you know when i'm sorry i'm a believer in dr fauci i love him i could listen to him all day long when dr fauci says hey i'm taking the vaccine i'm i'm ready sign me up because oh. you have doctors and you have medical professionals uh trusting in this and and taking it and so far we've had you know hundreds and hundreds of doctors and nurses all over the country taking it putting themselves these are you know frontline workers like yep. like we are um as a teacher i'm now considered a frontline worker so you're giving a vaccine i'm about to take it because to me it's no different from when i was immunized as a baby who's to say those vaccines couldn't cause me to have some kind of deformity later on in life i mean you know we didn't have the technology that we have today we don't we didn't have that back then you know i i know regan and i we definitely had vaccinations where it caused a scar on our arm yep like you know and, and that was just you know for whatever you know we, we've had polio and mm -hmm. and all these all these different things that happened in our lifetime yeah and we so even have had an uncle was uh he was chosen to actually uh distribute the the the, the polio vaccine vaccination in trinidad in the 70s and um during that he acquired it himself and for most of our life we know him with polio it was like it was crazy Wow. He couldn't use his legs, you know, for after, you know, and it was weird not knowing him. We, we never knew him walking, but, you know, every time we, we always had to carry him around and stuff, it was weird. And it was something that he acquired while that wow. pandemic hit people. Trinidad. And when that had, pandemic had hit Trinidad about the polio, uh, polio, whatever it was, um, he was one of those that was helping the community, giving it out and all that stuff. And he acquired it. See, man, that's, and, that's and it, a lot it, for the life. rest of his life, you know, he, you know, God rest his soul now, but for the rest of his life, he, we've known him with polio and it was, it was crazy. He still whooped that's the kids, awesome. he still whooped the kids' ass, but he was good. <laughs> 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 he had polio. Nah. Were, were you feeling confident to get a vaccine when you were sick with, with COVID last, like, look, hey, so look, I said, fuck that vaccine. I said, fuck it. I got sick. I'm getting that motherfucking vaccine. Forget, for, you know, I'm not playing. Right. Like, I'm not getting it this week, though. I'm going right. I'm, I'm to let those volunteers get it. I'm going to see how they turn out first. <laughs> but I, I, hey, I'm with I'm, you on that one. I'm with yeah, you on that one. They, they like, work with me, so I'm going right. to see how they look, you know. And, I just don't want to be the first guinea pig to get it. That's all. Yeah, Straight up. But, I'm, I'm but chicken I'm, like that. I'm getting it. I, I'm, I'm like you are. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Fauci, I, I, I have no reason to uh, not trust him, you know, as far as, you know, uh, someone in the um, uh, political eye, yeah. you know, uh, so, and this is one of the things I got, I, I'm vaccinated, my kids are vaccinated, my, my kids ain't have, my kids don't know what chicken pox is. Right. You so, so, you know, from what I'm hearing, it's like a, it's going to possibly be in a booster, you know, where you need, you get another shot, stuff like that. Um, I looked up, looked did some research while I was laying down. Um, so they came, they was able to come up with a vaccine so fast because it's so similar to SARS. Mm -hmm. So they, they put the different strands and, you know, uh, of uh, COVID and they just putting it in the vaccine. Um, kind of similar to what they did almost 10 years ago with H1N1. Because right. the next fall they had, you know, in the flu shot, they had the H1N1 in the flu shot. Right. Right. So, right, right. I mean, you know, it's all a little science, little tech stuff, little nerdy stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But after having it, I'm going to tell you, hey, I ain't playing. I'm going to go get it, man. I'll get yeah, it. Four I, times. And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm I don't I'm not against getting it. It's just I just need to see if I'm going to be the one walking around with, you know, a third leg or something like that. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, for me, I'd rather walk around with a third leg than not walk around at all. <laughs> so it's like, Give me a third leg if that's the case, because <laughs> well, see, in comparison, me, it this thing is it's killing people. I, sign me up for life form, however that may be. Maybe it's a third ear. I don't well, know. But I feel like it's one of those things where like 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 in the Bible, you know, you know, um, 
in the Bible, they say, you know, um, uh, a lot of people, you know, we should, a lot of people, there yeah, a lot of people out here that swear into celibacy, you know, celibacy, we're going to be celibate. Celibate means for all those who don't know, celibate means you, 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 you denounce sex. You will not have sex for the rest of your life. And that's what celibate mean. And I would hate to be the guy that, that, that swear to celibacy, then die and then meet St. Peter at the gate or meet God in heaven and go, Hey God, I was celibate. And he goes, well, dude, I just wanted to tell you it was a typo in the Bible. We meant celebrate, <laughs> you know? <Out. laughs> so yeah. just one more question, uh, Moan. So how did that affect, I mean, okay, it's going to sound kind of gross, but did you have to go to the bathroom a lot and all that stuff? But was that so, part of the symptoms? That, so that was a crazy part because everybody I've talked to um, said, that, you know, they, they, they had diarrhea. Right. Um. So it it is with some um, that is part of the strain. Isn't it? I, I I didn't have it. I, right. If I, you did right. I, I'm I'm pretty regular. So, right. You know, I don't have to put my business out there. I'm pretty <laughs> regular. Once twice a day. Well, I, I, I asked that because I, I mean, three days. I asked that because you know our, our, our quarterback ran to the bathroom yesterday, and everybody says he's wound from massage. But I figured you know it was part of the uh, yeah, COVID I, thing. You had to so use the bathroom, man. You just couldn't put it out look, there. The crazy thing is, right. <laughs> The, so and 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 I, I just I'm even more amazed by these guys who are playing sports and you know during this time and get it. As y'all know, uh, PRS one, you saw me in the morning. I came to work Monday morning for a uh, roll call at four forty five. Yep. Mm -hmm. I had to get my. I had to start early. I had no energy. I wasn't sleepy. I was drained. Right. And, and then you kept saying that. Yeah. All week up until Friday when I started feeling more like myself, I was just drained. So for, to see Lamar out there playing football for the second week after, yep. I, look, he got cleared last week. Yep. So he's only had, uh, uh, this is his first full week without having it. Mm -hmm. He probably was, and it, it, them cramps probably was um, uh, related to COVID because my week last week, I'm walking around, my my calf muscles were cramped up. My thighs were cramped up. Right, right. Um, or he could have been in the bathroom because after after all that, your body is trying to get rid of the bacteria, trying to right, get rid exactly. of the virus. Now, so, and, and they did say it was like what? Uh, so he was quarantined for, I want to say, 10 to 14 10 days. days. 10 days. He did say in an interview he slept the whole 10 days. He was asleep. He said he's never felt so drained. And then he, the first match, I mean the match, but the first game he was back. He was just like you. He was drained. He was tired. He was in so much pain, but he still went out there and played. He, but but he, you could you saw it in the map. You saw it in the game where 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 he was pulling back. People were like yo man, what's what's going on with Lamar? It's it's I understood it because what, from you from knowing you and what you said, it's it was the pain. And, incredible, incredible. Right. And, I, and I was so gun ho for the season because I want to see some football. I, I want to see my Ravens. After getting it, if they cancel the season today, I would be totally fine. If they canceled all sports, I would be totally fine. This is something where, you know, of course you're going to speak on it no matter what. Yeah. But when you get it and you experience it, no, there shouldn't be no damn school. The city should be shut down. City states should be shut down. Fuck them restaurants. You know, fuck the club. Oh, it just it's just like stop playing with this. You cannot play with I've never felt so bad. Right. From something that's like a flu. Never. So no, nah, I I wouldn't I'm that's just where I'm at. Like I said, I I don't stay in the office. I don't know what they got. I don't know where they've been. I'm in there wearing a mask, wearing a shield, you know, spraying the desk down three times a day. You know, I usually drive people to their car. Fuck it, you gonna walk the day. <laughs> you know, it, it's just it's different. My son want to go to the gym. The gym that we go to had an outbreak. So, but there's wow. other gyms, and I'm like, man, I you know, I'm calling them. They're like, yeah, we got. I fight them gyms, man. You know, like I say, you you you're not stuck at home. You safe at home. You right. know, and a lot of and the thing is, it's the adults, man. It's not even the kids. See, the kids. The kids are going to go off of the adults. You got adults who don't want to stay in the house, who don't want to stay safe. And their kids hear it and the kids see it like, well, mommy going out every weekend or daddy going out. They going here with their friends. They doing this. 
How come I can't go outside? And it's depressing to a lot of kids when you see your people going out and it's not just for work. They're going out to party. They're going to hookah lounges. That's got to be the dumbest shit in the world. You're going to go to a hookah lounge. Everybody swap and spit off that little rubber device, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah dancing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There's no mask. How you gonna have a mask on and smoke? Right. So there's no mask. It's I mean it's it's the adults, man. That's the that's the sad part. And sometimes if you just gotta think lead behind, follow behind us if we lead properly. And the adults, a lot of us are not leading properly. Right. Can I um? I mean, I don't have too much to say on the um on the whole subject. Um, I do want to say that yeah, I'm anti-vaccination. I'm not one of the ones that think that um. I don't like vaccinations, so um, I'm gonna just put that out there. Um, are they necessary? Maybe, Maybe but right. um, I'm just anti-vaccination. Um, That's why I'm not speaking a lot about it. But far as something that you said, you know, um, I heard a lot of people in the beginning of this, um, you know, COVID, that it was fake, it was false. Don't wear your mask and stuff like that. From the day that you know we was told to wear a mask, you know, yep. I, I did. You know, I I went home. I didn't even want to go to the grocery store, you know, stuff like that. But it was something you said, like, people take it for granted. And then when they get it, now they're saying, oh, it's serious. I mean, sometimes we don't see air, but we know air is there because we need it to breathe. And I think that everybody should have took it serious from the beginning. From the beginning. Whether if it was a hoax or not, because our safety was more important, like you said, than the restaurants and all these other places. Um and I think that that's sad. Like we shouldn't wait till something happened. That's our whole problem. We wanna we wanna do something when something happened. But when it starts from the beginning, if we don't do the things that we need to do, then we wouldn't be in the position that we are in right now. You know, like you said, you have people uh, passing away. My daughter had it. She has MS. You know, she I don't know if she had it as bad as you, um, um, Ramon, but she had it where she had to be in a room by herself. And my thing, my fear was by my daughter having something that already affects her immune system, I thought that this was going to take my daughter out. But, right, right. you know, thank God it did not. You know, she, she survived it. She's still here. But even before she got it, she was one of the ones like, I asked her one time to take the subway to meet me at work. She was like, that's a negative. Uh -huh. me on taking, um, you know, uh -huh. I'm taking Uber. So she was from one of the ones that was taking it serious from the beginning. Mm -hmm. and, and you like you, excuse me, as you, she got it from her job. She worked at Mercy and she's, you know, she goes around to the different rooms and register people in and that's how she got it. You know, so um, I think that a lot of us, I mean, I talk to people right now that still think that it's, um, it's not real. They call it a hoax. They call it this, they call it that. But I'm like, you see people passing away and dying every day, you know? So, I mean, we got to take this thing, um, serves from the beginning and do what we're supposed to do. Yes, we just, no. we so, have to. So how many of you um you know believe that that one ex that cheated on you should fucking get COVID and <laughs> you know I, I wouldn't even put that on that bitch. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, <laughs> that's shocking. Hey, you, yeah, you I'm, yeah. Coming yeah. from him, right? right. Coming you from him, that's right. shocking <laughs> and shit. I'll be honest with you. I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Or, uh, or my worst ex, man. <laughs> you know. I was trying to well, use that as a segue into like another, another part, part of a topic. Like, fuck that bitch. Hope she get it. <laughs> no. I, I can't, man. I, Hope I, you get I it twice. I can't, man. You know, I want to, but I, that's just, uh, like I said, um, I, I've never laid in the bed and thought I was going to die from a damn cold and then not know what to expect. The, the next day, even though I was feeling better, I was like, because I, so the day after Thanksgiving, I was feeling a little bit better. I was up. I straightened up the room, made the bed, all that stuff. Saturday, I watched the, the fight. Sunday, right. I'm watching football. Monday, mm -hmm. I get out the shower and I'm walking back to the bedroom. And I'm just, I had to put my hand down on the chair and I'm like, I'm tired. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? What's going on? Just got and I'm walking real back quick. up the stairs, and I'm just tired. I, I, I struggle getting up the stairs. I get in the room. A couple hours later, I'm coughing. And we all know, you know, you know, when you get phlegm, when you're sick, we know what phlegm look like. This, this was like phlegm to the 10th power. It was like, it was so hard. It was like a rubber ball. Mm. 
So I had a cup and I was I, I just made sure I spit it out. I told the missus, I said, look, you got to make sure you keep hot tea coming up here every two hours. Because I, I, I knew that the, the, the mucus was in my lungs. I, you know, mm -hmm. saying every time I cough, I could feel it. So I just continued drinking hot tea, taking sea moss. Um, and that lasted about three days. I have a cough. Right. And they said, your cough can last to two to three months. And I'm like, what? what? That, it's the craziest thing. So, so is, that part, would... is that part of the downside of it? Because I know um, a young lady that had it and now she's having problems with her um, lung. So that's like one of the downsides of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's awful. And everybody, it, it affects everybody differently. Like I said, my son's. They had it for 24 hours apiece. The next day, they were, they were fine. They were yeah. fine. Yeah, Trump got yeah, it. It made him want to count votes. That, right. that, 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 it that, made that, him lose more of his brain cells. That Caucasian man. Let me tell you, that, that white boy right there. I don't even that think white he's he orange. Serious issues, man. He got some serious issues. He failed this country miserably, man. He failed this country, man. And you know what? I'm, I mean, he's one person, but the, the, the sad part about it to me is that there's so many other Americans that came out of the woodworks that agree with him. And it was one of those things where, like, I mean, these are a lot of educated people was like, do you not fucking hear what's coming out of his mouth? What the hell is going on with some of you guys? You know, and it's one of those things where. All right. well, you I know, feel like well, I was one of the only smart people. Majority of them hicks are ignorant anyway. You know what I'm saying? They got like right. third grade education and shit, so they was good with it. You like know, he was spewing so much malarkey that <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even not get hit with none of backsplash or black splash. Hey, you know, come on, man. Reagan, do we uh, have anybody um, commenting on the um, conversation? Oh yeah, we got a couple comments. We have Miss Betran on here. The comment we made about um. <laughs> The comment we made about, uh, by, 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 by giving it to your ex, she said, nah, I wouldn't want to give COVID to my ex uh, and, and take him out because I want that privilege for myself. That's oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. We got Miss Jewel Johnson on here. Um, oh, what's up, Jewel? Yeah, up? nice night. Nice having you on board. Uh, Mike McCoy, as usual. Mike. Uh, Sh Shemay Booker. Uh, hey, thanks Booker. for being on there, Shemay. Mm -hmm. uh, who else we got? Um, we got uh, who else is on here? In Inigo Montoya, excuse me if I'm pronouncing your names wrong. I'm just trying to give everybody a shout out. Um, and Mr. Little, is he on there? I saw him come across my screen a little. Oh, yeah, Mark Little. Yeah, Mark Little's on there. We got uh, Miss uh, Tiffany Williams. Uh, how you doing, Tiffany? Nice. Oh, what's up, Tiffany? Tiffany? Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, oh, oh, gorgeous young lady on here by the name of Myrna Guiding. Um, <laughs> that's my wife, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm glad you heard me say something because I was about to say something slick. <laughs> well, so far, yeah, everybody's watching. Um, Mike McCoy said 45s support holes act like that, some bitches got <laughs> what? <laughs> um, he said 45 support supporters act like that, some bitches got. <laughs> man I, I can't wait to january 20th yep tiffany say hey y'all hey tiffany thanks for watching a lot of people sign in and just look at you like i oh, them dumb asses and switch the shit off but we're so glad that you're on there watching um Absolutely. and if you all are not aware of the topic today the topic of discussion is today is how to deal with trauma after an affair and we're also touching the downside of covid19 so far the COVID-19 topic kind of took over because there's so much to discuss about this this hey, thing and so much we need to know, you know. What was that topic? Um, how to deal with trauma after affair. After what? After uh, affair. an affair. You know, he got an accent, so. Yeah, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> Is that Trinidad affair. thing? Affair. <laughs> affair. Yeah. yeah. I'm training people out today. How you deal with it after you get home? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the hell? As my Caribbean people out there, how do you deal with this shit after you get home? Yeah. <laughs> so, first of all, let me say this: that noise that y'all heard in um with the um in the background, every year around this time, they um have a um a what you call come around and they have a Santa Claus on it. And oh, that was Santa on the fire, fire truck. truck. Yeah, yeah. So I was kind of mad if y'all noticed. I kept looking out the window because every time it come and I don't celebrate Christmas, 
But I'll be the first one out there and be like, hey, I want my candy. Like a big kid. Every year. <laughs> and my children right. be like, ma, really? I'm like, shoot. I like the lights. I like right. the trees. I like right. that stuff. You know? I just want <laughs> so to be a quick like, shout hey, out. Y'all um, talk, so I can go out there and say something to my people. But they go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Martin Branford who jumped on. He said that COVID was no joke. And Tiffany Williams said Lindsay uh, scared her because uh, she thought her friend was gone. So just oh. that out there. Nah. Right. That's so, I know that's Lindsay wasn't going away. He too damn stubborn to go some damn nowhere. Yeah, he, <laughs> hey, hey, let me tell you something. As cocky and confident as as I am, I was scared shitless, man. I, you know, I didn't even want to go to sleep at night. Uh, you know, because I was scared I wasn't gonna wake up uh, due to breathing. I, I, it's, it's, I don't even. It's, it's, it is the worst thing ever. It yeah, is. I would. I, would I, 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 you know, I, I pray I don't get it, and if I do, I hope I don't get it as, as bad as in, in the rest of the people. Or I should say, if I do get it, because it's, it's one of them things I would say it's so rampant. Um, but yeah, I, it, it's, I, I would it's rather get crazy. gonorrhea three times. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo! All right, so we got like 30 minutes. Can we get on the, the other topic? Yeah. So as I said, the other topic was how to deal with trauma after an affair. Um, after an affair. It sounded like you were saying fear. That's why I was looking for uh, Well, so, let's start with Miss um, Gaia. Wait, I, I want Savannah to kind of explain. So when you say uh, trauma after an affair, are you the victim of the, 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 yes. the affair? Or were you the one in the affair? And the trauma would be a wife beating your ass. You know, no, well, trauma yeah. basically. When I what I'm saying is, I like I said, most of the time when I get my topic, I always ask people, you know, right. that you know, whatever. And most of it is about you dealing with the trauma of somebody going outside of your the relationship and um, you know, cheating. And sometimes from that, <laughs> go to a whole number relationship, and you're left to deal with whatever. Reven, you know, um, stuff that's going on. Like, if you got to deal with the children, if you got to deal with him being with this other woman and or other man, all that kind of stuff. Oh, so, that's or him. A a worst case scenario, he leaves you with a virus. You know, it, it's yeah, yeah, right. pretty, yeah. So it's it's like a trauma. I'm talking, about, I'm talking right. about like AIDS and shit. You know, you, <laughs> yeah, pretty you go out there and you, you know you cheat, whatever. Don't have no, don't think about the shit. Come back and now you scratching and you didn't did nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Well, I scratch it. Like, <laughs> no, it, it, it's, it's, it's I sounds funny, but 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 it's one of those traumas that you deal with. So let you know. Now I found out I I have HIV or I have AIDS because well, you know. was out there being an ass about you you know about shit. Well, you know, I had loose crotch syndrome and, and then and try to get your get HIV shit. test. Right. Come back positive. Right. Yeah. The really sad good. part about it now. <laughs> If you're cheating and you go out there and you got to try to solve your shit and you go get that eight, uh, you had that eight, you get that, that, that vaccine from Australia <laughs> for COVID, you might test positive for HIV. Right. Exactly. So it behoove you to keep your dick in your pants. <laughs> well, no, not because well, women, yeah. women want to cheat. Women cheat too. That's right. That's right. You know, Loose um, crack syndrome. <laughs> you know <laughs> Women cheat more than men. Oh, you him know? with that. Women oh, cheat more no. than men. Yeah, no, and, and, and look, look. Yeah, women, women just women don't get so caught half the time. Women are proud. No. Of, what do they say? We cheat better than men. They, right, right. How many of them have already said that? And now you want to say no? You don't. Women cheat more. No, you said we cheat more. We cheat. You more. cheat more. Y'all cheat better. You I got might, McCoy. I got Mike McCoy on here singing. I bust the windows out your car. <laughs> See, that's part of trauma right there. Right. I'm traumatized now. No, no, no. Windows out of cars and scratches. <laughs> ah, ah, man, look. So, See, women <laughs> women cheat better than men, but men 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 lie more than women. I don't know. That's a whole nother topic. No nah, shit. Hell, I think, I women, think when, it, when when people no, say that, no. even though that's sad to say that women um cheat better. I think because a lot of times we we emotional with it, you know. We don't just cheat to be cheating like y'all do, mm-hmm. like y'all be a big butt, big whatever it turns you on. But, but with that's, women, that's why it's, it's not so, cheating. But wait a minute, but more so with women, we are more so uh, when we get involved with somebody, it's more emotional. So that's why that's, that's serious cheat. When men cheat, hold up. When men have extra uh, uh, career affairs to somebody else. It's not cheating. 
What is it then? It's extracurricular activity. Whatever. Oh my God. So, Common sense. Don't play football. You don't got extra activities going on it's in the like, you, Yeah. It's like, it's, like, it's like reading a comic book. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's nothing. It's not. Oh, just, no. Oh, we, no. Come on, Miss Gaddy, Dr. Gaddy. Oh, no. Don't let them get away with this. <laughs> It's That's not, not reading the comic book there, Ramon. Oh, no, it's not. You know it's not. It's you like guys are sloppy. That's the problem. And then you get caught, and then you want to act as if, like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. It she didn't mean anything. She didn't mean nothing to me. Yeah. Like, she had she to mean something. Mean anything. Yeah, she had to mean something if you went through all these problems, all these That's problems. Right. She, she's just a big butt and a smile. And? But you, but she still had to mean something for you to you lie to your family and destroy your family and all that. That's well, right. But, but wow, I you lied. Have a smile I lied. And a big butt. If you're not <laughs> out there cheating, I'm right. lying because I care. <laughs> oh my god, that is so lame. That is the lamest thing in the world. I can see I that. I can see that. Feelings. I can see that. You know what? Woo. No, 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 no. That's ridiculous. We, no. You're lying because you don't want to get caught. That's what it is. Yeah, I want to get caught too because I want my cake and eat it too, damn it. I'm selfish. Right. Oh, wow. Right. Okay. That's why you get them extra pounds on your hips called she might get pregnant. How about that? <laughs> you might bring right. something home. How about that? Push so your you ass down the stairs, your family. Man. How about that? Ms. Bertrand added to, the, added to the discussion. She said men were designed by nature to have more than one woman. Women I were like not her. designed that way. That's why I think men cheat more. It's more in your nature to do so. I like her. You know what? I like the trend. Um, the trend I kind of <laughs> agree with you on that. Yeah. But today's society, you men can't. They don't have the room to do that. They can't even take care of the one woman they got. So why are they going out and getting another? I agree with Savvy. You know yeah. what I mean? I agree. Yeah, you can't take care. So you're going out trying to get something else, and you can't even deal with that. Deal with what you got at home. And if you don't well, want to do with that, then go somewhere else. But, but, but to, to, to a lot of men, it 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 really is not an emotional thing. It's more like an itch to scratch. That's Whereas it. for women, uh, it's more they get emotional when a mom, when a yeah. woman cheats. It means you basically fucked up and you right. cheat out of your dumb ass. And look, look, basically, that's it. Let me you know. let me tell you what a white boy told me about twenty years ago. Uh, it me messed my yeah. head up. So. He was like, um, he said, you want to know the difference between men and women cheating? He said, you know, men, we just stupid. We out here, blah, 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 blah. He said, you know, when it's innocent for women, you know, they'll have a conversation. They'll go to lunch with a guy and they'll they'll share secrets and stuff. And that's cheating for real, right? He yeah. Said, that is coming from white he, said, he said, but if they get, if they become intimate and she suck his penis. Oh, Lord, here we go. She really right. like him because women do not do that. <laughs> women don't give head to everybody. So I was I was looking at him right, and I started thinking about it because you know I dated a lot of girls at that time, and I was like, yeah, you know, I got to hear from a lot of women, but there's some that didn't give me head because they actually had people in their household, <laughs> and it started making sense. Like they weren't really into me, but the ones that was really into me, they gave me head, <laughs> and I said, damn. So even though they was cheating. They had morals, and some of them didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me and up. Some of them didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got out of that whole conversation. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a shallow, I'm a shallow person. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Well, we know that COVID didn't change that about you. Jeez. No, I'm good. I'm back, baby. <laughs> So, 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 who do y'all think deal with the trauma better? Um, um, the women. A man being a man women. being cheated on or a woman? Women. Women. We do, we do. Women. Because and one I thing agree. I know, I want one thing I know: men when they find out that woman, she oh lord, we everything in the book for God, the creation. Yep, you bitch, you hoe, everything you in the book for God's creation. Mm -hmm. And no good. Three or four times, oh, be baby, please, she ain't mean enough to take me back. Blah 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 blah, and. We do it one time. We we out the door. We come home. Our, our stuff outside on the lawn. That's because your coochie tainted. <laughs> Mighty else cowboy broom up was up in there. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's, 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 a, 
No, well, you know what, men, it's an ego and pride thing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even, it's not even about love because we still love you and we still want to be with you, but it's an ego and pride thing because, all right, so I know what you look like when we're having sex. Oh. I've seen your sex faces. <laughs> I know how you, I, I, I know how you moan, how you move and everything. So when I find out you cheated on me, all I can see is this dude beating it up and you doing all those faces and possibly a few new ones for this dude and not me. Right. right. And then I know he's beating it up because it's not his. He ain't taking care of it. He, he in there. He tearing it up because it's and not so that, his. So that, that sends you to so much trauma. Because of all that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He in there. He, he probably playing R. Kelly. Got the incense. He got, the, he got everything set up. And she loving it. Because, you know, if y'all in a relationship, you know, you're in a relationship. Y'all got work, family. You, you, you're, you're busy. So it's kind of hard to be romantic, be spontaneous. He done went in here and pulled out all the stops. And at the same time, she and she, you know, she's just so relaxed and calm and enjoying it. And the music, like I said, R. Kelly is of all people, R. Kelly. <laughs> and R. Kelly is a good choice. Yeah, and you know what? As a man, because I know what I would do if I was with somebody woman. As a man, I'm giving them long strokes, <laughs> them deep strokes. You see what I'm saying? I'm taking Unless you it a short out. man. I'm i I'm taking it out and letting just the tip. Oh, and I'm bringing it home. And and as a man, it's an ego and pride thing. No matter <laughs> what, we always, you know, hey, I'm, I, you know, I'm good. My, my nice size penis. But when your woman cheat on you, this dude got a porn star penis. He in there, <laughs> and she loving it, doing things for him she ain't do with you. But I had a um a friend, a male friend, that said that his girlfriend stayed out. They were living together. And she went out, left him home with the children. And he was calling her and she wouldn't answer the phone. So she didn't come home till the next morning. And he said when she came home, her stuff was at the bottom of the steps. And he had cheated on her many a times, many a times. So when we talked about it, I said, well, what happened? Like, what was the problem? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, because I know she was out with another man. And I'm like, okay, but you cheated on her millions of times. He was like, it's, the, it's just the thought of her being with that man all night long. He said, I can't compare, I can't, I can't compare with that. So she had to go. Oh wow. Absolutely. She was out all night with King Dingaling. There yeah. is a problem. <laughs> and you but that's the thing. Like, like I said, he cheated on her many times. And Don't it was okay. It was matter. okay. But she yeah. came home. She got she got enough nerve to stay out all night long. And she could have not been with a man. She could have just did that to make him think that. But in his head, because I asked him, I said, Did you have a conversation? He said it didn't matter. It didn't matter. She was gone all night long. She had to go. I said, God, nobody knows. Don't nobody like, know. Rock. Look, y'all rock. No man, no man want alley cat punani. Okay. Once you become an alley cat, your punani is no good. Take it back outside. Hey, y'all, y'all have animals, right? Loose cat, syndrome. When you get a cat as a pet, you keep the cat in the house. Because once the cat go outside, the cat is no more good to to you in the house. So you get rid of the cat. Dogs. <laughs> you can keep dogs. Dogs come inside, come inside, outside. See what you that analogy. <laughs> you hear that analogy. Yeah. That is some bullshit. That is some bullshit. <laughs> Did you say shiggity? <laughs> That's some bullshit, man. Like, what in yeah, the world? Did you say bullshit? <laughs> That's why you got so many stray cats out in this world, man. Oh, you can come home. Uh 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 uh. Welcome, Jamie. Men are Jamie insecure, on. and that's why they cheat. Right. Men no, cheat I, out of insecurity. And no, it's women. insecurity because every time they're in a relationship and they go out and they cheat, it's always about what they're not feeling from, from, from the woman at home. If it's the spouse, if it's the girlfriend, it's like, well, I don't feel love. I don't feel... Now, if you're not feeling love then the other person isn't feeling loved either. Like one person is not walking around just feeling loved as can be. And then the other person is sitting in a corner rocking back and forth. Like that's not happening. 
So it's all about their insecurity. And it's like, you know what? She's not showing me love. Hmm. Well, Sally Jane at the office at the cooler, she smiled at me. So, you know, she's she she I, I might see if she might like me. And then all of a sudden it's something. But it's like it's it's all about a man and their insecurity. And and that is where it stems from. It really does. A woman mm -hmm. cheats because they actually do feel unloved or un underappreciated and things like that. But men cheat because the minute, you know, a woman is, you know, a woman's taking care, might have a job, might be, you know, taking care of the children, taking care of the house, all of these things. And it's like they come home and they still think that a woman should just worship them the minute they come home because it's like, Oh my gosh, daddy's home. Let me just like get ready. Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and if his ego is not stroked like a cat all day long, then all of a sudden it's like, well, I don't feel loved. I don't feel good about myself in here. I feel <laughs> as if I'm just like, you know, on the corner of a bench. Like she's just, everything else is more important than me. How about your damn babies is more important. Yes, they are. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. that's what your wife or your woman, you that, that, person, that person is taking <laughs> care of all day long. The babies, the house, the bills are being paid. You came home, there's lights are on, there's water in the pipe, taking a hot shower. Oh. No. Yeah, Good vibes I, I, TV will be putting out. We're going to be putting out our new t shirts It's going to be Good Vibes TV. Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> hey, look, I think women need to grow up, man. I think they need to grow up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before we, go, before we go too far, I want to get some of these questions in the comments out. So, um, <laughs> Let's come back to that. All right, right. One of the questions was, so um, going back to what we were saying about the, the, the sucking dick thing. So if a woman cheats, and don't suck dick. It makes the situation less hurtful. Yeah, you can take oh. it back home. <laughs> okay, but can I say something? You said if women do that, but what about when a man go down on a woman? I mean, you know what I'm saying? What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah, what's the difference in the trauma in it? The difference is, right, y'all putting something in your mouth going to hit in the back of your throat, that thing and thing and thing that they say a song and shit. Man, we, we lick hey, Cardi it. Cardi really. B. Hey, half the time we don't even we ain't even licking what we supposed to be licking to get you off. So men, you know, you're pretty safe with us. Oh, so also, so you guys are not only insecure, but you're also deliberately confused. Yes, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now we have that all cleared up. Okay, because yeah. <laughs> I was confused. You know, you know we, now we I'm saying Savvy, not just confused, but deliberately stuff, right? confused. Right, because right. they know what's up, but they deliberately like confused. Like what? Well, right, right. What do you like, mean? Like, what is this? Like I just know? licked the vagina. What are you right. talking about? Right. You put the whole thing in your mouth, and it yeah. tells you the thing. And that's you right. You, 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 <laughs> like we, you, you, we just you, can't you, deal with that. You, you got these little Mexican guys telling you, telling your wife or your spouse or that I will go downtown. I will go downtown on you. I go downtown so long, I'll have a pack of potato chips and a Corona with me. Why does it sound like Trump? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little weird. That's I will so go downtown. I don't, I don't even want to know about the potato chip part. Like, what are we yeah, going, going down that long? <laughs> yeah, you going to be down there that long? You'll need a snack. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going down long, man. <laughs> Sammy got all the good snacks, remember? Yeah, that, you, know that, that's why, why, <laughs> you know what? That's why I said, you ain't got to go nowhere. Just go top of the fridge. There's a box with a whole bunch of little Cheetos and stuff in right, there. Little Cheetos. Something. Come back to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I really think that uh, when it comes to the trauma and stuff like that, I think that men do take it uh, much. Not saying that we don't. It's just that we deal with it um, in a different way. But men, it's like y'all y'all take it to the whole other level. That's it's like we just not even people anymore. Women, because men are weak. <laughs> women expect their men to cheat, and men don't expect their women to cheat. Right. I don't expect my man to cheat. Yeah, I don't. Do. You know, no, I don't. we're all dumb. No, no, I uh, don't. Uh, 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 uh. Don't don't come with, don't downplay what a man is 
in order to get away oh. with doing some asinine bullshit. Like that's how it works. Right. I was, I was calling us dogs downplaying. I'm proud. We are proud dogs up in here. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, you talking downplaying? Oh, oh, no. No, God, see, hey, God I, no I was going to say, hey, God, I don't think you want to um, <laughs> associate. Wanna, yeah, I don't think you want to be on that bandwagon. Come on, now. Come on, now. <laughs> I'm in the mule section. This is jackass section. <laughs> man crazy. You know, man, I'm, I'm, you know, we're just a fucked up species, man. We're a fucked up gender. You know, um, you, you can't do wrong to our mother and our daughter. You know, but we'll cheat on our daughter's mother all day long. Yeah, <laughs> right. So backwards, so backwards. As Ms. Betran says, it's like the nature of it. You know, is it? Yeah. it, it <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, that's it, just messed up, and that's just that is just difficult and unsettling as it can be. It is. It, it is. really is. But when and, and but see the problem is, women need to learn to accept it. Bro. Well, you know what? Let me say this. That's Let me it. say this, and I'm going. I'm going to piggyback on what Smith, what Smith Patren said. My whole thing is, if you want to go out and have a whole bunch of women, right, yeah. then you better be able to take care of all the women that you're dealing with, mm -hmm. especially me. And my thing is, I'm going to be the queen B I T C H up in there, so I better be treated. I'm gonna have everything. So just like I said, if you want to go have all your little hoes. Then I better be the bitch and get treated the best. So that's what I'm saying. So that's the only way I can deal with it. But if you're not doing theory. that, then you need to stay in your place, sir. You need you to stay in your place. That's what you call the bottom bitch theory. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You know, you, and, you, and, and, and and it's crazy because because growing up, you know, I had a couple family members, couple uncles that I know was cheating and stuff like that, and that, that was the thing. It was like he had all his women, but guess what? She was Mrs. Guardian, and, and, yeah. and that never happened. You know, she was the one who had the car. She had the one who had the kids. The kids in special schools. He was out, you know, fighting his his little, you know, meat gun everywhere, and she was, you know. She was the house. She was, hey, the, you know, hey, you need to get take, into this kingdom. That's the, and off. that was the whole thing. His, his thing was, you can't be mad because you got all of this shit. How you gonna be mad? You got all the cars. You got all the kids. You got the house. You got all of this stuff. We're paying all the bills. You know, why are you mad? Because I'm outside getting some some alley cat, you know? Yeah, some alley cat. <laughs> but feel like, I feel like there, there are relationships where people honestly sign up for that. Like yeah. there are relationships where people are aware that because this they were cheating way before y'all got married because they were cheating. Maybe yes. they were the outside woman at one point, and one point. they were like, and then all of a sudden now they've worked their way up the ladder, and now yeah. they're and they the hope for reform the, the the cheating pyramid. But it's like when when people get into marriages and serious relationships, and the commitment that breaks. Because you didn't sign up for that. You mm -hmm. signed up to be with that one person for the rest of your life. And it goes back to your marriage vows. And it goes back to, you know, you're doing something outside of the marriage that obviously you're not expecting the other person to do. Mm -hmm. Then that's where it's broken. And, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. where no one signed up for that. So, like for me, in my own case and in my own failed marriage um i didn't sign up for that so when that became evident and that was pretty clear deuces you yeah. go ahead and have your fun but i am not going to sit up and and think and wonder and worry and 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 just the the mind games that goes on with it it's not that, worth it yeah, and that's exactly. like part of trauma. That's every, the, that's like every a part time of you, trauma every that time you, you come released. home. I got let me smell your dick. Oh yeah, and got time for that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Mm. Look, look, keep that rancid tool to yourself. <laughs> let, 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 uh -huh. me, let, let me say this, doctor. <laughs> you gotta accept him for him. Uh -uh. Well, guess what? <laughs> I accepted him for who I married. And when I realized that that married person that I was in a marriage with, that I had a family with, decided to act as if 
he was deliberately confused because that's not what I signed up for. Just like if I had another dude, he didn't sign up for that. I chose not to accept that. And yeah. that's my choice. So my choice was, here you go. You can sign on these dotted lines. There's quite a few of them. And you now <laughs> can go ahead and do whatever it is you're doing. And guess what? Just as Savvy said, they come back and they crawl back and they beg and it's, I'm not going to do it again. And I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Happened the but, first time. Shouldn't be happening. But, not happening at all. But, you know. So man, make sure you go cheat before you get married. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it don't cheat. count then. Right. <laughs> it don't count. But I, look. It don't count. count. <laughs> hey, what, 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 what's the saying in the Bible? What's the saying? Who... Have never sinned cast the first stone. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you know? I agree. I like that. I like yeah. that. You know why? Because I could throw some stones. Because I didn't cast <laughs> any stones in that marriage. So if we're about casting stones yeah, while we're in his stones marriage, out the door. then <laughs> bring the boulders right. let me start throwing it. Right. Throw Lock out all them windows. You cheat. Right. I'm going to throw your stones out the door. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> you What's and your stones better get the stepping. It's just cheating, you know. Shit. It's just cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's just you know, I like mean, um, no big deal. Right, yeah, like but I'm but for you, for you, sir, since you the one like it's just cheating, you know, it's just a natural thing for men to do, you know, get over yourself. Mm -hmm. But if it happened to you, how would you handle it? Well, I said something the night before we got married, and everybody looked at me for. Oh, I got to hear this one. <laughs> they so you know you have a little dinner party. You know people come over. It's gonna be in the, you know wedding whatever. The little mm -hmm. dinner party we had to hear, and they asked me. They said, "Mo, do you do you trust her?" And she's right there. We're all right there. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Yeah, I, I trust her to be human." Um, and they was they kind of looked at me like that was the wrong answer. <laughs> now, mind you, I've been married before, and I'm right. divorced. This is my second marriage. And I said, I trust her to be human. They said, well, well, what the hell is that? I said, well, if she fuck up, make a mistake, I will be man enough to sit down and talk to her, and let's work it out. Nobody is perfect. You know, when we talk about cheating, and we having fun with it, you know, you know, we, we, we automatically, you know, it just seemed like it's a spontaneous thing, like, Oh shit, she got fat ass. I'm gonna get that. You know, majority of the time, there's a reason why people step out. You know, whether they feel neglected, um, they don't feel loved, um, something's missing. Something's missing. Because when things are a okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yo, people don't cheat when things are great on both ends. Cause you don't think about that shit, because things are great. So it's usually something that is causing that 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 malfunction. You know what I mean? So whatever it is that she 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 would do in our marriage, and we've been married since 2009. If she was to cheat on me, I'm gonna be mad. But we took vows. And if you say I'm sorry. And then, you know, the, the whole other stuff, like it'll never happen again. You got to go through that rigmarole, whatever that bullshit is. I have to be man of my word, too. You know, let's try to work it out. Now, we, we're working it out. Of course, we're working it out. Now, you can't be working it out. And in the midst of you working it out, that month, he back there, he got you know, every, every, every once, once a week, twice a month, he got his dick down your throat. You know, he's taking your tomorrow. No, we can't be doing that. That's not working it out. <laughs> that, you, know, you see that part is traumatizing. He right. keeps that's, right. it, yeah. <laughs> that's a traumatizing. You know, that's okay, traumatizing. I'm just helping you out in a situation you're not good at. <laughs> you know, nah. nah, you're supposed to be working it out, but it's one of them things where when they go to the store, are you really going to the store? When you come in a house and you on the phone and you get off the phone and you be like, hey, baby, who the fuck was you talking to? Fuck that, hey baby. So it takes a while. It, it takes a while. You know to I call it. everybody babe. Yeah, fuck that, man. Cause that's that's cause that's what my that's what my god brother used to tell me. He said instead of giving girls nicknames, everybody got nicknames. This is Pookie. This is 
rah rah. He said, just call all of them baby. You can't go wrong. <laughs> you know, but you got to work through that, and it's hard. It, it's one of them things that's hard. You both have to work through it, mm-hmm. and you, you got to be sincere about it. You know, stuff like that. It's very traumatizing, you know, mm-hmm. because when you, like I said, with men, we're, we're so physical, and even though we fuck up and we do our dirt, you know, whatever, we hold our women to the highest of highs. So if you cheated on us, even when we making love to you, we trying to figure out who, if we, if we, if we know who he is, oh Lord, we then imagining this dude fuck you while we having sex with you. We like, man, she moaning like this. Was she moaning for him like this? Was she, was she moaning less? Was she moaning mm-hmm. more? You know, am I, am I, am, am, do she really want me on top of? I mean, damn, she was just sucking this nigga dick last week. Mm-hmm. So, you know, all this is going through your head and are you on top yeah. and, you she down might there. say your name, and it's like, bitch. You down you there talking about? Name? Oh, that's what this nigga tastes like. Yeah, all kind of crazy stuff. Because we're, we're we're so prideful and we're so ignorant and vain that the healing process for us is us getting over us, and that's kind of hard. That's hard. But for women, it's the same too. The only difference is women have to then suck up their pride. They have to suck up the tears and all of that stuff. But just like you feel that emotional strain and that embarrassment and you feel all of those emotions, women feel that too. Because women sit there and they think, well, what did I have or what did I did? What didn't I have or what was I not doing that caused him to do X, Y and Z? And so but with a, with a woman, a woman then has to go on with life and a woman then has to take care of the kids and the woman then has to put on the good face and, and, and be that, that woman to everyone else. Because the minute a woman breaks down and really expresses how she feels, which is probably busting up someone's window, you know what happens? We crazy. Oh, we crazy. That's, That's that crazy. crazy. Right. That's why I did that shit. She crazy. See what I got to deal with, bro? See what? Uh-huh. She, no. That's how she acts. No. She too emotional. It is. She got, she seemed emotional. Like that's, right. that's all, yeah, that's the object of the day with y'all. And you know, I agree with that. I was thinking about Ooh, that when you were um, saying it. You know, I was really thinking about that when you were saying it. And you know, like you said, it goes back to, we start questioning ourselves. You know, we start questioning, like like you said, what do she got that we don't, you know, is she better than us in this? And even like what you said about the physical part, we also think like that. Like, what are we not doing in the bedroom? And then if it's stuff that we wasn't used to doing, we're going to start doing it because we want to make you happy. It's, it's a lot of stuff when it comes to women, but we got to suck them tears up and continue to do what we have to do. Because like she said, if we break down and if we do go bust a car window or flatten a tire and all that, then we're called crazy. But I'm going to say this. Men can do the same thing. They can go bust a car window out and come to your job and embarrass you. But y'all not labeled crazy. And I don't understand that. Look, look, look. Yeah, look. Me, all look. of a sudden then men are considered, oh, he's emotional. He's just right. taking on the trauma of what happened when she cheated. Right. Oh, the men are not crazy then. Oh, oh no. no. And I mean, He's I know men that have done things this like poor that. guy. Look at him. Yeah. He's struggling. He I know a man that cleaned out the whole thing. It wasn't was right what she did to him. Because he was mad about his wife cheating. He could, he took the daggone um, things off the faucet. Like, that's crazy. That's extreme. All right. Look, so look, <laughs> look, look. I got one. I got one. Man, take I was all, I was take all the backs for your earrings. Right. <laughs> look, look. So, you know they're hard to get back. <laughs> hey, so I was dating this older woman, right? I, I I actually moved out and I was living with her, right? I was eighteen, she was twenty three. Perkins, right? Well, well, <laughs> I, look, look, it gets good. It's, look, look, check this out. So I was actually I met her at sixteen. We was dating for two years. So she was twenty when I was sixteen. I moved in with her after I graduated high school. I was eighteen. She was twenty three. So peep this, right? I caught her cheating. All right. So, you know, back in the 90s, you had to, uh, you know, you call, leave a voice message or whatever. Yeah. And it would play out loud. So I, some dude on there talk about he missed her, blah, 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 blah. She and 
she back home in Pennsylvania. So I'm listening to the recording, whatever. She called the house that morning, you know, to see me or whatever, or just check up on me. And I'm on the phone. I'm talking to her. I'm like, hey, hey you miss me? She said, yeah, I miss you a lot. I said, that's funny because this nigga that called last night left the message, he missed you too. So <laughs> she like, so we going back and forth. And I said, man, fuck this. I'm out of here. I Let me tell you what I did, man. Now, she this is Sunday. She wasn't coming back till Wednesday. I turned the faucet on in the tub, the sink faucet. <laughs> I turned the kitchen faucet on. I left all the lights on. I plugged up every fucking thing in the house. <laughs> I, I electricity, water running, all that. She had it was uh we had we had matching outfits. I took mine, I took hers, and I poured fucking grease from the pan all on the shit. Everything. Man, when she got home that Thursday, right? She was pissed. so, you know, this date back in the days of beepers. You so, so crazy. So she beat me, right? She was on the I called her back. She on the phone. She real calm, right? I'm 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 expecting her to yell. So she said, um, I think somebody broke in the house and turned all the water <laughs> on. <laughs> but, Babe, I'm gonna have to get you a new outfit. Somebody, somebody <laughs> fucked it up. But, hey, the whole grease all over it. I, I, I was, I was, I was done, up. man. I was done, <laughs> man. I, I, I was on some petty <laughs> shit. She added well, this shit backfired. It's bullshit. Yeah, if we would have did that. All right. If we would have did that, we would have been called crazy, right? Uh, yeah, man. She yeah, deserved yeah, it. Y'all, exactly. y'all breaking people windows and shit, man. That shit ain't right. Mm-hmm. Y'all did the same thing. That y'all deserve it if we do it. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> y'all hurt us, man. We scarred, man. Oh dear. I just need y'all to grow up. That's all I need y'all to do. Grow up, put your big bag, um, big big panties on. I just need y'all to do that. <laughs> y'all just killing me out here. <laughs> y'all are killing me out here in these streets. I'm sorry. We 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 we're, we. I always say it. We 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 have not evolved. With the same knuckle dragon. Caveman, uh, ball barrack caveman, still trying to figure out how to start a fire. <laughs> Women have evolved. We haven't. Well, I need y'all to catch up because it's tiresome. It's really tiresome. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Want to give a big shout out to my my neighbor, Miss Nissa Dawn Karaya, <laughs> for Nissa Dawn Karaya for joining us. Thanks for watching, ma'am. Hey, Ms. Fern. Good to see you in the comments, Ferbert. What's up? Hey, hey, so you know she had COVID like a couple of days after me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, she did. So Fern, I was going to jump on. Like two days again. ago, and she was um, telling me everything she did to, um, to get better. So, yep, she did. I told her, hit that tube stick, she'd have been fine. We got Jamie, um, that, Jamie on here too, Jamie McFadden. What's Jamie, up, Jamie? There's a whole bunch of stuff in the comments, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even start reading. They know I'm right. They know I'm right. They're on my side. Deliberately <laughs> <Let>, confused. <laughs> let y'all man <laughs> cheat. <laughs> let y'all man cheat and be great. Stop hating, right. man. Well, uh, I feel like this. If y'all, if y'all feel that way, then let us be great. Let us <laughs> be great. Don't get mad. No, you can be great. Be great in that damn kitchen making my food. <laughs> But no, I don't, I, I don't condone cheating. I really don't, you know. And I feel like this: if a man holds that woman uh, to high standard, I do. I do as well. Absolutely. I don't want my man going out there. If we having a problem, you know, come to me. Let's let's talk about it. Let's battle battle it out. Let's do whatever we got to do. Mm-hmm. But don't go out and see somebody else. You know, it's supposed to be me and you. We supposed to be team. We can't be team if you're going out there doing something else. Hey, hey, what hey, you're doing so. at that point, you are now adding more to the problem. Right. But we, we didn't we, start the it, fire. It's, it's it was interesting. Already burning. <laughs> Savvy said we're supposed to be a team. If 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 you understand the concept of team. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. get traded, man. We get, you sign free agents. Team dingling. <laughs> you know. You gotta have people on the bench when you have a team, boo. Okay, if you say you so, have so backup, like I say, you if it's good players. for you, if it's good for you, it should be good for me. So don't get mad. Well, don't there's get a mad. difference when when I when I run the team, you the player. 
You you, mm-hmm. you don't do anything that I don't no, tell you. Look, to do. I'm the if owner. you have your team, I'm gonna have my team. But one thing about me, I'm very petty. So if you have your team, I'm gonna have a triple team. You got your triple team. I'm very petty. But you I love know, I love to get back. I really that's do. The, I that's the great get thing back. about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Our, our dicks don't get worn out. Your hole gonna be so big, nobody bull. gonna. That's bull. That's bull. That's a mess. That's bull. That's I bull. Ain't a mess. I ain't a mess. You can't do no kegels all day long. <laughs> Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> and you know they got. You can go to the doctor and get other stuff done now. So what yeah, you got? Yeah. What you gonna say about that? So yeah. you, uh, we, what you gonna, you, you gonna say about that? You on steroids? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> but no, to be honest, I'm very against cheating. I just think that it's just the weak side of a person when they do it. It is, and I, I feel agree. like if you don't, if you don't um try to exhaust all the aspects of your relationship. Before you even decide to do that, then I just think that it's a weak part of um, who you are. Yeah. And my thing is, you you in a relationship, you know, and you whether it's a merge or something that you've been in a long time, y'all are connected. And it's like once you go outside of that, you break that connection, and it's kind of hard to get that back. Because once again, with the trauma is, you got to learn how to trust that person again. So everything they yeah. and for me, I'm sorry for everybody that don't know me. People that lie to me, it's a, it's very hard for me to trust you. I'm telling you, you can you can tell me the sky is blue and I can look at it and see it's blue, but I'm gonna look at you and tell you you lie. So once you break that trust with me, it's very hard. It's very hard because one thing I am, I try to be as truthful as I can be, and I try to I try to be as loyal as I am in a relationship. So once you break that with me, it's, it's very hard. Yeah, I, I I I cool with that. You know, the connection thing you say, you know, once you break that connection. Um, but I'm like this. My cable ain't that great, but I still sit here and watch the TV, so <laughs> <laughs> and that's the conclusion of <laughs> a good vibe television. Yes, yes, yes. That's it, y'all. <laughs> In the Ramon show. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I feel he, good. He definitely is. I miss you, bro. I miss you. I really do. I miss y'all. I'm glad I'm back. So is that is that it? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Benny Hill. Benny, Benny Hill. Hill. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's like 814, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we went way past it. Uh, this show lasted longer than the last time most of us cheated, huh? Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> PRS phone, what you got going on, man? Not much, man. I'm still here. Um, here with Good Vibes. Uh, good Vibes. But I'm here with Good Vibes <laughs> TV. But um, I'm here in my studio, Trinity Spice FM. You guys love Caribbean music. You know, make sure you jump on, get on our station, listen to it. It's free. Free, free, free. Um, we're, you know, on your iOS devices, your your Google Play. Just look up Trini Spice FM. Um, if you like, you know, give me some support. You know, come listen to the station. It's free again, I said. Down the, Download the app. You can listen to us on Alexa as well. Just um, enable Alec- uh, Trini Spice FM in your Alexa skill store. And pretty much that's what I got going on. Um, you know, enjoying hanging out with you guys and pretty much trying to dodge COVID as much as I can. Um, what about you, Sammy? Um, March um thirteenth, my show still going on. You know, we um we chilling right now because of what's going on. But March um thirteenth, so go to e- um yeah Eventbrite, put in fashion statement, and get your tickets, guys. Get your tickets. Also, I have some um savvy events keepsakes on my um IG. If you don't know my IG, it's um what is it savvy events. I think it's 19, I think I took the 1980, um, 1980, 1987 off, but I have some stuff on there. You can look at, and if you want to purchase, just, um, DM me and, um, we can have a conversation about that. want to also give a shout out. Like I have to do every week to Lamar Elliott. Um, he's my actor. I mean, my client and, um, he's still on a tour. He goes away on Thursday to, um, Atlanta, for the tour for Guns and Graham. And I think after that, they are going to, I think, Oakland. So he's still on the move on that. So um, if you didn't see the movie, please check it out. Please support him. And um, I think that's all I got so far going on. Yep. Oh, and I have my one-on-one show that I do once a month. 
Um, recording it this um Sunday. My um, it's called Savvy Entertainment Corner. So look out for that as well. Yeah. Okay. Hey Doc, it, what it, you got going on, Doc? Well, first of all, thank you guys for having me on again. This was so much fun. Great way to spend my what is it Tuesday evening? Yeah, Tuesday on the rocks. Tuesday on the rocks. <laughs> um, just wrapping up for the the holidays with my uh with school and stuff like that with regards to teaching we come back in two weeks so we're back right after the new year and so just looking forward to that time trying to stay safe in our very you know sunshine shady state <laughs> COVID everywhere so that's it really just really kind of staying low-key I feel like I should have more going on. You guys are so busy. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I've got, I don't have any, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> so, you know it, it's one of the secrets to not cheating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that too. I'm just, I don't have, I just don't even have the energy. I, I don't have the energy for that. I'm like, oh, uh, no. So I, I just want to make sure uh, I jump on there and say, um, guys, um, if you're watching, you want to see more of our content, um, we're on YouTube. We got our own YouTube channel. It's called Good Vibes, Tele Good Vibes TV, GVTV, Tele you know, Good Vibes Television. Um, so look for us on there. Um, pretty much, you know, go on there, subscribe. It's free. You know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this, um, you know, no, smash that, 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 that YouTube algorithm, as they say. And, um, you know, we'll have Savvy's information on the bottom. You know, if you want information on Moan's uh, situation and, you know, his, you know, how to cheat, he'll, we'll have a clip. Uh, 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 <laughs> Y'all need to DM me, man. I think for that as well. Um, me, uh, how to we can talk COVID. About it. Yeah. Need you, wait a minute. You, need a, you always try to get somebody to get a, uh, what is it called? Uh, um, uh, only only fans, fans page. Yeah, you need to have only fans for that. Right. I, I, I should, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to help a lot of people out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm be there for them. So what you got going on, sir? <laughs> Not a damn thing. <laughs> the only thing I got going on is GVTV. I'm happy with that. Um, very appreciative of you guys. Uh, a lot of people, the editing and stuff, Reagan does. And he does an awesome job of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and the funny thing is he do it while he's on the clock at work. That's funny as shit. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just throw him out there, sir. Just throw yeah. him out there. Just throw him no, out he, don't, he don't really do He don't really do yeah, he he do so it's okay. I mean, we. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, but but at least uh, I'm not uh, cheating at work. <laughs> we don't know you. <laughs> well, you ain't got nobody to cheat with it. We're doing um twelve to eight, so shit. <laughs> you know, all of them want women. We gonna leave that oh, alone. Wow. We'll oh leave wow. Them alone. But savvy <laughs> is awesome as well. Savvy is 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 so creative. Yeah, you you guys, uh, man, y'all gotta sit down and talk. Amazon ain't gonna really moan. <laughs> She's hey Mike, you you doing all kind of other shit, Mike. But uh I'm blessed to be surrounded by two wonderful people. Uh again, I'm thankful to be back, feeling good. It was an awesome surprise to see Miss Gaia Dean. She is so gorgeous. I love looking down in that corner and seeing that smile. <laughs> she is so gorgeous, but thankful to being back. Hey y'all, we're gonna wrap it up right here till next week. GV TV, peace. All right, see y'all later. We out. Bye.